Good morning, friends. Happy Friday and happy Poetry Day. Poetry can do so much because poetry speaks with all of the voices of humanity. Poems can make us think, they can challenge us, they can inspire us, they can convey big emotions, or they can just be comforting, like a cozy fire. My connection challenge to you today, as you go through this day experiencing poetry by listening, by reading, and by writing, is to listen and notice for poems or lines of poems that you think might be comforting or bring joy or inspiration or motivation to people in your neighborhood. Choose a line from a poem, a stanza from a poem, or even a whole poem to hang in your window facing outward to bring a wonderful experience to people passing by your home. You can print it out and decorate it. You can write it in big enough letters that it can be read. But choose something that will change someone's experience and maybe bring them some delight or some comfort or some inspiration. I'm going to choose The Peace of Wild Things by Wendell Berry. When despair for the world grows in me and I wake in the night at the least sound, in fear of what my life and my children's lives may be. I go and lie down where the wood drake rests in his beauty on the water, and the gray heron feeds. I come into the peace of wild things who do not tax their lives with forethought of grief. I come into the presence of still water, and I feel above me the day-blind stars waiting with their light. For a time, I rest in the grace of the world and am free.